everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to Light Night, Late Night Mop. I don't know if I pronounced late right, man, my brain's not completely on today. But Late Night Mop, apparently made by Markiplier's editor of all people. Uh, as far as I know, that dude basically dips his fingers on a lot of things, video editing, apparently game design now too. Uh, let me double check, Late Night. I think it's going to be a slightly silly game? Not completely sure. Actually, apparently they made other games I just didn't know about. So Light Night Mop is a haunted house cleaning simulator. I know, right? Sounds weird, but looked interesting, so let's give it a try. Hey! Sorry for calling you so late, but uh, would you mind going by the house and do a quick cleanup? I, uh, I made a bit of a mess, and uh, I need the house cleaned, as I have some guests coming over in the morning. Okay, thank you. Okay. Sounds good. Just please don't tell me you shit on the floor. Please. WSU to move. Oh, the mop! Looks like a very nice mop. Uh, click to clean stain. It's a dark and stormy night. Pick up trash. Left click. You need trash to place it here. I see. Hmm. Uh, task list. Ah, oh, master bedroom, master bathroom. Okay, okay. Let's just, uh. Hmm. Claim that grime. Ah. Oh. Very nice. Bathroom's done. Just about to say. Door's locked. Scrubby, scrubby. Yeah, it's... It's, it, it's very dirty. I, I don't know... But... Is that a... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll just squeegee the rug. We need a wet vacuum cleaner, whatever. The deep clean type. Hmm. Yeah, I can only pick up one at a time. Uh, man, who has a metal trash bin in the in their house? I mean, maybe if you live in New York and it's just like this is the most nostalgic tin can in New York. Is that just a thing for America? It's like you have such a I don't know, when you look at a metal trash can, is it just... How many people grow up... With... I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen a metal trash can in my life. I don't know if it's just because Canada, or if it's because... Growing up in a rural slash suburban area. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll get myself a metal trash can for my room. Maybe. Oh, There's so much crap. Oh, well, this kitchen. Okay. Okay, we'll just, uh... One thing at a time. It's at least why you shouldn't be a landlord, though. It's just idle chat. Idle chat. But, I mean... If you're one of those kind of landlords who rent buildings, apartments, or, you know, houses, apartment complexes, condos for students, and you have to make sure they don't stain everything, you make sure they don't party, that'd be a nightmare. Because you know they're going to start doing stupid shit and causing damages and partying and leaving trash. Just, how dirty some humans can be, I swear to God, it is disgusting. Like, man, I, I'm a person who maybe just, like, you know, there's maybe a good amount of coating of dust on my desk in some places. But there are some humans out there. It's just... It'll make you question humanity with how dirty some people can get. And how they just don't do... It's mildly creepy. Hello. It's always the whole, you turn around and then it happens was very subtle. 
He's gonna be peeking around corners or messing with me. Is that the baby? Actually, wait. That... That brings me... God! You sneaky fuck! That genuinely actually reminds me... Of, um... Man, a childhood nightmare I remember having, actually. It's just like... That... It actually had a nightmare as a kid that was really spooky to me. That was not that, but the... The previous time. Man, that's weird. It's like it's something almost exactly happened in my dream. And I'm saying like a dream... Fuck. <laughs> that I had. Wait. Like... It's like a nightmare I'd remember from like over 20 years ago. Keep that in mind. Like something I had as a kid when, when I was still easily scared like everyone else. When you're more impressionable and... This room's not done by the way. Uh... Ted can. Okay. Uh, let me try to think of the dream. Hang on. It's like, I was in my birth home, I was in my bedroom, and the creepy thing was that, like, I, I remember the dream, I was just lying in my bed trying to sleep in my dreams, and I'd hear a tap, tap, tap on my window, and it was just like a window that would be just like a sliding window, so you could slide once and then slide again, or, or actually three, slide once, then screen, slide the screen, like the bug protector filter, and then slide the other window, and I poked my head out, and looked at where the like, noise came from, looked left, looked right. And then I looked and saw at my neighbor's house, this fucking, like, weird, creepy baby staring at me, like, out their window, poking their head out just like me, staring at me. And I was like, Jesus Christ, like, I pull my head back in, just, like, try to close the windows, but the windows don't close. And just that, like, the baby staring at me creepily was, like, just, like, sort of like, like that, you know, with the head peeking around the corner. And it reminded me of that fucking nightmare. I hated that dream as a kid. Because, I mean, I was like, like I don't know, like fucking 10 or fucking 8 or some shit. And I remember that being spooky. I don't like it. Now it suddenly reminded me of that dream. I don't think of those dreams and think, oh my god, I'm scared. But that was quite the nostalgic trip right there. Wrong door. Okay, so the one in over here. But yeah, damn. I hadn't thought about that nightmare that I had as a kid. I'm, I'll, I just almost missed that. But I haven't thought of that nightmare I had as a kid for so long. Damn. Nostalgia, I tell you. In all the wrong ways, but... Eh. Crazy. Damn. Like, I remember basically all the nightmares I've had as a kid. They're like... They're like games. They're like stories, you know? I remember them all. Not here yet? He'll sneak it. He's probably gonna be under the bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Grab. Trash. Okay. He he he's he'll, he'll try. But the dream was really quick. Like as soon as I looked at the baby and I backed up, I just remember like how the dream ended was like, then the baby somehow just like teleported to like at my window and just. I don't know, killed me. He's like staring at me, smelling my fear. And then, I don't know. Then it's some. I don't know how, it just killed me. It's like one of those kind of things, like, as a kid, what I hated most was like pain in dreams to me. Was like being tickled uncontrollably in, and it's like, a, like a tickling sensation that is excruciating tickling kind of thing, you know? And I didn't like that. Now I don't even have pain. I haven't had pain in nightmares for a long, 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 long time. Hmm. Mostly because it's like, I, I'm such a lucid dreamer that every time I do have nightmares, I just control them. I just, I take control and basically hijack the nightmares and turn it silly. It's usually fun now. But, yeah, fun times. Story time with Nico. 
We're not going to be able to get home. Come on. Mm. Investigate noise. Nah. <laughs> Click to leave. Nah. We might as well find out. It'd be a waste of put Oh, Aw. It startled me a little bit. But then I want to know what happens if we just try to leave. I, I highly doubt the game would have multiple endings, but still. I have the opportunity. Oh, no wait, it is! Very dead ending! Um, it might be a little too late to be saying this, but maybe don't go into my house. I, uh, <laughs> I remember I kinda summoned a demon and totally forgot about it. Anyways, I oh. uh, hope you're good and healthy and alive. <laughs> okay, bye. He doesn't sound really, um, I don't know, he doesn't sound really, uh, apologetic or, uh, regretful. Lexian TV's YouTube members, a very special thanks. Uh, okay. The like Kanye West, too, or something? K West! But okay, wait, extras. Uh, ac wait, nope, very dead, there's, wait. Okay, fast mouthing. Okay, the job well done. Nope. Oh, I mean, that just sound that sounds easy. There's three endings, supposedly. We can't skip it. I'll be right back. Hey. Look how fast my cleaning is. Boom. Like, come on, like boom, boom, yeah. Woo. So fast. For the nope, I'm gonna assume it's just like, as soon as you see the thing's face, you just leave. Probably. Boom. Look at the speed run. Speed run challenge? I got this. Although the fact we can only pick up one thing at a time... We do only have one hand, but I mean... Still. Okay. Kitchen done. Boom. Shazam! And two more. Can't eat the apple. Alright. Now we go for the... I'm kind of curious. Let's see. Now we'll be looking away from that thing. And then that's when we try to leave and say, fuck this. And then slowly walk over here. My question is, is this door... Oh! Ne Click to leave. I wasn't expecting it to try to jump scare me to, to stay away from the door. <laughs> nope. Well, well, well. Glad to know I could count on you to get the job done. Oh, wait! You didn't! You made me look like a fool. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, and also, you're fired. Fired? So it's the... The boss of my company or something? Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see what we got now next. Is anything new? No. Well, a job well done. I'll do uh, fast mopping. We're going to do it again, except I'm going to clean it completely, and then, and then we leave. And then we'll get the last phone call. Hmm. Uh -huh, I didn't see that before. It was under the bed. I just missed it. I'm not sure if I saw or was looking in a different direction, but yeah, definitely slid under the bed. That was just... That's just the shine. But okay. Time to leave this time. We did a good job. Everything's done. And this room, this door is actually, yeah, it's, it leads to the master bedroom, but it's like a shortcut. No! We're leaving. Goodbye. Last ending. Thank you so much for cleaning the house. I really appreciate it. Although you did break a very special and very expensive antique and left all the pieces for me to clean, so I'll be deducting that from your payment. What? So yeah, thanks for that. That piece of shit, what? Broke what now? He's blaming the demon's shit on... 
Like, uh, on, on main for some reason? This guy's a, quite the deck. But otherwise, see if there's anything that happens from getting all the endings or not. Mm, no. Just all the endings. That's it. Fast hopping was helpful, though. But, either way, my only complaint would be the lack of a frame rate limiter. Otherwise, uh, interesting game. Uh, short, but juicy. Um, didn't have too many annoying cheap jump scares, but just a nice little mix. Not not too loud, not too annoying, not too cheap, not too frequent. Because there's like that one Backrooms game not too, too long ago, where it's just like, you know, there's like loud ass annoying jump scares like every two minutes. It just gets really annoying. It's like when you do jump scares, you got to do it just right, you know? In this one, it relied more on a you don't suspect it and it peeks around at the corner of your eye and your peripheral vision kind of thing or waits for you to stare at it like in the corner of the room or when I turned around the first time. It was a like fine moment. It, it, got, it got me a little tiny, kind of little, little jitter. But otherwise, tell me, did it jump scare you? Did it spook you? Did it make you jump out of your chair? Did it make you get a little jitters? Let me know in the comments down below. If you did get a little jitter or enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff scriber, and the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.